all right welcome back everyone to another 96 words guides and in the last one uh, we took a look at creating an sd card based swap space now we take it a bit further now as you can see the sd card based swap space was fairly fairly slow so now we remove the sd card completely and use something called the zram or ram compression swap space which uh, doesn't use any external form of storage but compresses the data that is in the RAM. I have actually experimented with this kind of uh, swap a whole lot and I use it on a daily basis and it's it's actually pretty good. There is no uh, no noticeable until you are doing something very specific. There's no noticeable uh, uh, slowdown and anything like that. So it should be all good to go. So let's take a look. Uh, and as you can see, I have rebooted the our swap is now at zero. I have removed the SD card, removed all the entries for the swap space. And what we are going to do is create a ZRAM swap. So first step, if you use a Dragonboard 410C, uh, if you are not using the Dragonboard 410C, you may need to recompile the kernel with the config ZRAM and a config ZSM alloc. Um, config options and you can always hit us up at the 96 boards forum that's discuss.96boards.org to ask questions and guidance on how you can do that so dragon boards kernel already has the zram uh, stuff enabled so it's all good to go so now first of all we create our own zram script uh, and for that uh, what we need is sudo nano or vi as you like so now uh, we write a small script. All right, so this is my ZRAM uh, swap script uh, that will run at every boot. All right, so the script itself says the first command is mod prob. Uh, it calls on the uh, ZRAM kernel module and enables one ZRAM device. And then um, the uh, la next line is basically to calculate the amount of RAM there is because my script is based on the amount of RAM there is on your device. So in this case, I'm using a multiplier of three. So if it's a one gigabyte board, it will create uh, a three gigabyte uh, ZRAM or three times the amount of free memory uh, on a given system. And the next one just basically creates a block device for ZRAM and make swap formats that device as swap and then turns that device enables that device to be used as swap. So that's about it. That's the small script that works. Control X, save and enter. Now we can uh, ch mod plus X and user bin zram.sh. And now we can call directly zram.sh and enable the zram. like so that's it it's done uh, but if you want to have it run at every boot uh, we'll get to it uh, in a moment but first let's see how it works so now i can type in free and you can see we have created the 2.8 gigabytes of zram swap space the uh, mem eater program what it basically does is to eat up 100 megabyte or allocate 100 megabyte of ram space every second and until the kernel's ohm killer goes ahead and kills it. So that way we can know uh, how much RAM we can allocate with the extended swap space. Now in our previous video, without the swap space, it was only up to 600 megabytes. And in the previous video with SD card swap space, there was a whole lot of slowdown. So let's go ahead and press enter 100. 200, 300, 400 and now at this point it has started to create the swap. Now we are going on to 7, 8, 9 and as you can see it's a whole lot faster than SD card. It's actually pretty real time uh, like it would be without the uh, ZRAM, uh, without the swap space. So we'll just let it go uh, and see if uh, at what point it just dies.
all right that's about it so with a ram space of just 1 gigabyte we were able to allocate 3.3 gigabytes of ram and that's all thanks to the uh, z ram swap space that we created of course you guys can go ahead and experiment with as much amount as you want and it was pretty fast uh, so again no noticeable slowdowns uh, and uh, you don't have to have an external SD card always present so let's go ahead and make it so that it survives a reboot uh, all we have to do is place the script in etc slash rc.local and and again I have uh, opened the etc slash rc.local script on nano and all you have to do is right before exit the zero and right after the last if statement is closed in between just add slash usr slash bin slash zram dot sh and ampersand and go ahead and uh, save it so now when we reboot now the reboot is done and we can look at the free commands output and we have the zram uh, swap space sitting at 3.8 gigahertz so it has survived a reboot again every time i reboot it will remain the same so if you want more guides like this go ahead and click the subscribe button and thanks for watching